Hi everyone, this is Ethical Rider and hope everyone is doing fine and riding safe. So uh, this video is, uh, is a review and that review would be regarding my uh, helmet Bluetooth headset. Okay. So <clears throat> I've been using this Bluetooth headset for uh, almost uh, two months now. And let me tell you, uh, this Bluetooth headset, it's pretty cheap. It's, uh, it comes with a pretty reasonable price. And uh, it is available on AliExpress, on Flipkart as well, on Amazon as well. Uh, but I did not get it from any of the uh, online uh, providers. I got it from uh, one of the one of the shops in New Delhi and uh, I got it from the same price which is quoted in, in all these web websites uh, which is for 2200 uh, Indian rupees and uh, it performs well but normally you know if you if you would go for a Bluetooth headset that might cost you uh, 2800 or 3000 or 3500 <laughs> and uh, but yes all those others there those comes with some other added features like uh, some comes with uh, the display uh, and the intercom as well and this one which i have it is a very uh, basic uh, bluetooth headset So this is how the Bluetooth headset looks like. It has <coughs> the power on button, then it has the volume up and volume down. And these are the same keys which will be used to operate uh, your uh, FM radio volume key and uh, the seeking, and these will work as the seeking button as well. Seeking up, seeking down. And this green button is for FM. And this little button, I'm not sure if you're able to see it or not. This one. This is to power off uh, the Bluetooth headset. Okay. Right, so this is how it looks like. <coughs> and uh, this is, a char is the charger po charging port that we get. Very normal and general charger that we get uh, with the other chargers as well. And these are the two extra tapes and foams uh, that we get to stick or fix uh, the speakers uh, inside the helmet so in total we get four of these and this is uh, the USB cable <coughs> and these are the two extra screws to clip on uh, the headset holder and this comes with uh, with a 3 mm tape you can see here okay and this is the allen key all right so uh when i've already installed uh, i did not do it myself i did it from I got it done from the place from which I got this Bluetooth headset. Right. So this is the helmet on which I have uh, installed my Bluetooth headset. <coughs> you can see here, <coughs> this is the clip on, this is the Bluetooth holder right here. Okay. And <coughs> here you can see the wire which will be connected to uh, 
from the Bluetooth headset, and from the inside it is it is connected with the with the speakers here. You can see here. I hope you can see here. One speaker is is right here, and this has to be adjusted as per your head size. So you need to make sure before you fix it or you stick it. And the other one would obviously be on the other side. That's a very obvious thing. Right here. And you have the flexible mouthpiece, which will always be at the front. So you can adjust it as per your need or as per your comfort level. I hope you can see that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry about the low light today. I'm not sure why it is happening. Okay. All right, so how it works, I'll show it to you. This is uh, the clip-on or the holder. So what you will do, you have uh, a jack given here. You can see the jack this small one, the square shaped jack. So what you will do, you will simply put this jack here on the square shaped space which is given here. I hope you can see that right here. So once you do it, see, Now, when you're in the FM mode or the radio mode, uh, <clears throat> to change the channels, to <clears throat> seek up, you will press plus button one by one and it will keep on changing the channels. See. And in, when you're in the radio mode, if you need to increase the volume, just press the, the volume up button and press and hold. And this will increase the volume like this. And if you want to decrease it, decrease the volume, you need to press and hold the volume decrease button or the minus button like this. And this is how it changes the channels. So if you would like to uh, switch it off once again, the small button here on which it's written as uh, off, so the Bluetooth will go off like this. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, the the sound quality and uh, sound quality when you are connected to your phone for your for the music. Or you have connected to the radio it's it's excellent it's it's amazing and as per this this price this this cheap and this reasonable price uh, I would not call it cheap I will I would just call it not so expensive and it at a reasonable price so <clears throat> I will I will uh, put a link for the uh, for the website where you can where you can order with the same with the same reasonable price and you will get it I think in two to three weeks that will be from Aliexpress uh, <clears throat> and a few things I would like to tell you here uh, this doesn't come with the intercom uh, function so it just have three functions here uh, connecting to your uh, your phone for the music and for picking up the calls and the third one is uh, the radio. So these are the three functions that it has. Okay. All right, so this is the song quality. This is the top volume. I mean the highest volume for this and once you hear it, it's a damn good quality. So you can hear it. 
I'm just putting the helmet above the above the camera. Okay. So now what will happen here? Uh, let's say if you're listening to the music, you're riding the bike, and uh, <clears throat> you receive a call. So automatically, after three rings, this will pick up your call, and you can you know you can start talking to the person. Okay. So let's say if you want to increase the volume, this is at the uh, this is the highest volume at this point of time. So these this is the button when you are on the stereo when you are connected you have connected your phone music to your Bluetooth. <coughs> so to increase the volume, you need to press the uh, plus button, the volume plus button, one by one, like this. All right. So if you have the helmet on and you are pressing this button to increase the volume, uh, and if once it will reach the, uh, the highest level of volume, it will give you a beep. Okay. So that means that it, the set, the headset has reached the highest volume. Okay. And this one you will use to decrease your volume, like this, one by one. See. Is decreasing now like this to increase it like this so now it is increasing you can hear the beat sound which means that it has reached the highest volume all right <clears throat> so now in between what you can do uh, let's say if you don't want to listen to the music uh, so putting in the same way, then sliding it down like this. So now you can see it is fixed here. Okay. So so this is the power button. What you need to do to uh, switch on the Bluetooth you need to press and hold this button like this the light will start blinking it will first go to green then purple and once this goes on and off uh, with this once this goes blinking red and blue this means that this is ready uh, uh, to be connected so let me show you how it, how it does I'll just go ahead and connect it to my phone. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so once it will be connected, uh, the model number or the Bluetooth name that will be shown here, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's pretty small. It will show as FV1. That's the Bluetooth name for uh, this Bluetooth device. Let me take it. I hope you can see that now. Right. Okay. So now, in this mode, uh, you can play the music. Definitely, you can play the music. And you can receive the calls. Let's say if you are riding the bike, you are on the way, and uh, it, will, it will automatically pick up your call after three rings. So you don't have to stop by or you don't have to press any buttons automatically that is the default setting and that will be the permanent setting for 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 the calls uh, so you can only answer the calls you cannot there's no button or there's no provision to call the last number dialed or anything like that but yes it will automatically answer the call after three rings so that's one good thing and that is one secure thing as well okay so let me first show you how the sounds work here. The sound quality of the, of the speakers and the Bluetooth. <coughs> so you can have a look once again. This is how it looks when it is on your camera. And this is how it is uh, installed on your, on your helmet. Now it's 
I have installed it uh, on the left side of my helmet and uh, you can do it on the right side as well it depends on your comfort level so I prefer to do it on the left side of my helmet right so you can you can definitely use it but yes uh, it's for the basic need no intercom uh, good for the solo ride and all <clears throat> so this will save you some money as well well it's not about just saving the money but yes it's about the use as well what kind of use you have uh, as per your rides or as per your need right <clears throat> all right everyone so uh, this was my review and this was my opinion as well this was my personal opinion as per my usage in the last two months and as of now i have not got any issues i've i've ridden i have used this uh, while riding in in the rain as well no issues whatsoever so so it is a good product with, with a reasonable price and uh, do share do like and do subscribe to my channel and if you have any feedbacks definitely you can you can leave your comments down below and i'll be happy to work on so thank you so much for watching the video guys and uh, you enjoy your life and you enjoy your rights and definitely ride safe thank you this is Ethical Rider signing off.